What's my reasoning for uh, laying this thing out indoors is because it is, temperature is dropping drastically and I'm a big wuss when it comes to cold weather. All right. What I did for the sheet metal roofs is I actually should have taken a picture of this beforehand. I went to Hobby Lobby and I found these, these signs. And it basically said like laundry on them or something like that. But the letters were just tacked on, so I just, you know, pried the letters off with a hammer. And then this, there's a piece of, uh, like a real thin piece of particle board on the back side here. I'm just gonna take that off too. And then I just banged out all the uh, little nails and flipped it over. I'm gonna use the other side because some of the, you know, you can see the residual from some of the letters. So I'm just gonna use this side, it's nice and smooth. Just pried out all the nail, residual nails and just kind of banged them out with a, a hammer. All right. So the table's round. It's a 70 inch diameter table, pretty big. Um, you can find a lot of pre-cut two by fours at Lowe's and Home Depot uh, at four feet, basically 48 inches, right? And um, which is really good uh, because you could do, you could find everything at that same size. This track for the lighting, you're gonna see how we're gonna flush that in in a bit. But uh, everything's just, you know, already pre-cut at that size. I mean, even these little sheet metal pieces, uh, these signs, these were two feet each. So they worked out perfect, just two of those. It just makes everything a lot easier. So your starting point, you basically want to get your flattest board, um, your flattest two by four, run it across the bottom, one across the top. So you're just going to piece together a small wall to start with. I'm going to do, it's uh, 48 inches across. I, every one of these pieces is 48 inches, so it's going to come out as a perfect box. Right? for anything fancy. Just a couple of nails on each end. If you were building a little counter or something like that at your home, you probably want to glue it and screw it, which alleviates any squeaks and pretty much guarantees that it will stay put forever. But uh, for what we're doing, these nails are plenty. made all my cuts like for the planks they look perfect they fit perfect all right I'm drilling a whole couple of holes in the side of this box here oh, yeah. that will let us place this box right here in this little corner we'll just put a couple screws in right there and we'll be all set this should work maybe not while i'm holding the camera but Kind of a jerry rig, but we got the box in. We'll put one more screw in there. This thing will be pretty tight. And then we can connect our track light, which goes across here. And then we'll start to, then we'll attach our L brackets for the roof. And then put the ship, start putting the ship lap planks on. And we'll be rolling, rolling. But once the lights are in place, I'm cutting small pieces of this wood to cover this little track. So it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have that track look, feet look. Track light look. <laughs> That's what's up. You turn me on like a 
This box, where my outlet's gonna be, and there's my plug. I'm coming over, jumping over to that box, where the switch is gonna be. And that's what's happening. All right, all right. Go into the outlet, into the fader, and up to the lights. Everything works. You turn me on like a light switch when you're moving your body around. I didn't check in for quite a while. I just got a little behind schedule here, so I, I just stopped filming and just stuck with building. But I thought that I would take a second and check in. We have installed our tin roof. The way we did that was just use these L brackets here, and then I just bent them with my bare strength. And then it's kind of cool. The, uh, I used the uh, two by fours to support like a real tin roof. I thought that's kind of a cool touch. Um, but basically, just screwed in all the planks, and now we're building the, the little bottom section. That's gonna be covered in brick, like this little dollhouse-sized brick to kind of emulate Oklahoma University, and there's a big Oklahoma goes across the front. So I started off building this with nails, and then I switched to screws for two reasons. The screws are obviously more secure. I mean, it's just a better connection and you'll have less problems with screws, but you know, it's a little more work. However, I just thought, you know, by the time this thing moves, gosh knows what it's going to go through to get from A to B. So I started using screws. Plus I've been working on it late night and uh, I didn't want to just sit here and pound away with a hammer. I didn't think my neighbors would uh, appreciate that too much. The thought on the flowers is that it's cold, right? It's going to be cold during the banquet. So we're not gonna get like real flowers that look really pretty. So we don't want to flake fake flowers. We have a ton of them. This brick for the bottom section, what's really cool is that this brick is, it's got like texture to it. It's really cool. It's actually for a dollhouse. So I have these wooden letters, these giant wooden letters that go across the brick that says Oklahoma. I'm gonna finish that trim right there, the brick around the bottom. And then I'm doing the second planter right now as well. Then when Emery gets here, We'll load this thing up and just add all those, like the Emory, the Oklahoma, when we get there. 